What is going on guys, Cades here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I have made a top 10 list of the best and most fun creative maps in Fortnite. So I'll start with parkour maps, then go with 1v1s, hide and seek maps, maps where you can like train aiming and editing, 2v2 maps and that type of stuff. Of course all the codes and stuff will be linked in the description as well on top of the video. With that said, let's get right into it. So let's start with the first map which is a 1v1 map. In my opinion this was an awesome map where I could build and fight against my friend. At the beginning of the map we found a bunch of chests, we opened them, got shotgun, an SMG, AR, hunting rifle and balloons. We got a bunch of materials and started fighting. This map I would recommend for people who just want to train in 1v1s. It's really cool, really awesome. Like right away you got all 100 health, 100 shield, all the guns and presets, everything. So all to do is whenever you die, you respawn back again with all the things that you were playing with before your death. And you can basically just 1v1 like 100 times or so. Whenever you run out of materials, there's still like an awesome map that has been created. So you can hide somewhere or fire them from some farther distance and just basically train your 1v1 skills. So the second map is parkour. I try to find not the easiest but not the hardest parkour map for the second map on my list. I really hate parkours, especially in Fortnite, so like if I have to complete a really hard one, I'll just rage quit and quit Fortnite in general. So what I did is I found, in my opinion, the easiest and the most fun parkour that you could be playing. There are a bunch of levels, the main thing is that you always have two options, so either we go to the left side or to the right side. One of those things will have a trap, one of them will not have. Of course you need to use your skill, a bunch of like jump pad tricks, jumping tricks, double jumps and that type of stuff. And of course, like I mentioned, you need to remind yourself in which left or right side was a trap, so next time you can remember it. There are a bunch of checkpoints, so whenever you die, you respawn near death point. It will start from the ground and even go to the sky limit with a bunch of like tunnels, traps, jump pads and that type of stuff. So if you like parkouring on top of the mountains, I guess this is the map for you. So the next map is a hide and seek one. I tried to find not the hardest and not the biggest map, so for example if you have like 5-10 minutes to kill with your friends, you want to play hide and seek, so basically just hide wherever you can and one guy goes with a pump and tries to find you. If you like hiding, trying to you know do some fun stuff with your friends and not have a huge map, then this is the map for you. Of course later on the list I'll give you a huge map with a bunch of buildings, castles and that type of stuff, so if you want like hardcore one you will be able to see that shortly. But like I mentioned, if you want to have some fun in a short period of time and want like a normal default map, this is the one for you. In the fourth place is a free for all map. If you're not familiar with free for all maps, it's basically there's a map, all of your friends or whoever's playing with you get randomly placed in whatever location. You get the preset so you can open a chest, get like a pump shotgun, an SMG, I don't know, shields maybe, and start fighting each other. You cannot build whatsoever, so it's a bit harder without the building aspect of the game. So you really need to get used to it, like mainly for me, whenever I was trying to fight, I was trying to build and failed miserably. So this map is basically made the same as we have right now for the block city in the battle royale map. It's the same thing, so you can just, like I said, fight your friends without building and maybe show that you are a lot better. If in Fortnite there wouldn't be any building, you would be god in this game. Having said that, of course you respawn in random locations, but you don't get the preset whenever you die. So you need to open a different chest and fight again. In the fifth place is aiming slash editing map. All that you do is you have a bunch of things already built and you just edit through them. There are a bunch of tunnels where you will need to build or maybe in some you will get a weapon. So basically this is yeah a building course so you can train your 90s. You can train your editing, be really fast, do that type of stuff. In a bunch of this type of maps, there's as well a prize pool. So for example, if you're really fast and really good at it, you can win a bunch of money. Right now it's going for a prize pool for $400 or something like that. I always, before like starting to play in the real battle royale against real people, I try to go for at least like a 10 or 15 minute training in this map and then go and play the real battle royale. It helps a lot to just get used to the editing and just, I guess, warm your hands before the real fight happens. The next Fortnite server is a hide and seek. This one is huge. There's like basically a tilt the towers if it would be like an apocalypse or something and zombies would be there with a bunch of like overgrown stuff, trees, grass and that type of stuff. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I gave you a really small map with your friends. So this map would be like really a lot bigger, a lot more stuff to like hide. So if you want to have some fun time in a huge map with your friends, this is the map for you. 
it took about 100 hours for the creator to actually build this thing. So in my opinion, it's amazing. And there are really like bunch of secret and nice things to hide in. In the seventh place is almost purely editing. So like I said previously in one of the aiming and editing maps, this is another one for you. You're basically in the tunnel. You try to edit for the things that already are built. And then on some point you will need to build as well 90s. You will even get like bunch of like trenches where there are people. So all you need to do is edit through the floor, shoot, edit back. And that's how you can like train just pillar fighting and that type of stuff. In my opinion, if you are definitely really bad at building, you should 100% use these maps and try to get your building really good. They're really easy to use and there are a bunch of like different things. So you are not always just building 90s or firing at someone or wherever you're doing a bunch of stuff. So you don't get bored of one thing and you can train a bunch of stuff which will help in the real battle royale. In the eighth place is one of my most favorite maps ever that you can play with your friends. So there is a huge map, there are jump pads, bounce pads, grapplers, snipers, shot grenades, bounce grenades. So all to do is try to no scope your friends or just basically shoot them. They can like basically fly so it's like really hard to actually try and hit them. But in my opinion it's really fun, really addictive. And one of the most important things, of course, fun in general. Whenever you die, again, you respawn with all of your things. So you don't need to waste your time to get another stuff. You already get all of these things and one shot is one kill. You can train your sniping and, of course, and most importantly, you can do like really sick no scopes. Making people to wait to win till the last player and try to no scope them on bounce pads or jump pads. Those days are long gone. Now this is the new thing that you can do to be the best sniper ever by doing trick shots and try to hit people in the face. In the ninth place is purely aiming map. So in my opinion, I wanted to include one aiming map where you can train your aim. So you get a bunch of weapons like SCAR, Blue M4, a scoped weapon. And all to do is there are about like 20 to 30 floors. All to do is fire at the red things, which are basically the players. Whenever you hit them, you again reload weapons. Whenever you are out of the red things, you go down one floor. And that's how you can just basically go through 30, 40 floors and train your aim. There isn't still advanced method that there are actually bots which you can train on. So these are the best things that you get for now. And in my opinion, it's still really good. Previously, you needed to use like different applications and different like games to actually train your aim, like aimtrainer.com and that type of stuff. Not anymore. Now you can just hop into this map and train your aim. In the last place is Featured, which is Enigma Castle. This is a really huge map, but an awesome one. If you have a bunch of friends and you don't have anything to do, you get the preset, which is Shotgun, SMG and AK. As well, there are a bunch of healing points. So whenever you get hit, you can just lay low and, for example, get some slurps or whatever. In my opinion, it's like a really cool castle map where you can fight against 2v2s and even more. It's a really huge one, so I would not recommend to play with like only one friend. But having that said, if you have a squad and a bunch of friends, this is the map for you. You can build, so again, there is that type of thing that you cannot destroy anything or build, but you have a bunch of bounce grenades, so I guess that's how you can boost your movement a bit faster. But with that said, this is my top 10 list, which would be, in my opinion, the best Fortnite maps ever that you should play. I try to find the best and most variety maps ever, so starting off from parkour, finishing for hide and seek, aim training, 1v1s, 2v2s and that type of stuff. In my opinion, this creative mode is a really awesome thing that you can just share your maps and servers with your friends. If you're looking for how do you yourself create this type of map, link will be in the description. I already made a video talking about that. And as well, if you're looking for how do you find those type of codes, which I showed you in this video, another video is dedicated for you as well. And let me know guys your top 10 list in the comment section which map should be in the first place which should be in the last. If you have created your own map share that code in the comment section down below so other players can check it out and play it with you. And as well guys be look out for more top 5 and 10 lists for example for purely parkour maps, hide and seek maps, aim training or edit training. All those lists I'll provide you in future. Of course, if you liked this video and it was really helpful, click like. Don't forget to subscribe to keep you up to date with every video that I make, which is every single day. We cover a variety of topics starting up from video settings, best prop player keybinds and that type of stuff till top 10 list of best creative maps in Fortnite. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it 